Hello everybody and welcome back to My Garage Roleplay. Right, so yeah, today we are starting off over here at our storage barn. And I think this is the first time you guys are going to see this barn open in this series. So this is pretty much where I keep all of the spare parts that I don't want to have laying around in the shop. And we still also have the piece of donor car that was left from building this one over here, which you will be pleased to know has actually sold. So yeah, this car is going to Mr. Cyclone, the owner of the El Camino in the shop over there, which we're going to have a look at in a second. So we also have got our golden oldie drag car in here, as well as uh, Lars' uh, Chevy Impala drag car. So he asked me to uh, just store it here for him for a little bit while he sorts out a couple of things. So yeah, we are also going to be parking this car in the barn now and this will be shipped over to its new owner once we are ready but yes for today we are going to be completing a couple of projects so we've got the NIF 4x4 first of all we were busy with in the last episode so that is going to pretty much get done today as well as the general Lee Dodge Charger which Tom has finished painting so that is pretty much parked up over there uh, as you can see and Tom has been busy with the El Camino as well so he also bought himself a, a new toy so this is his BMW E36 this is a track toy and this thing puts out quite a bit of power apparently with this inline 6 and yeah I haven't uh, taken this thing out for a proper drive yet uh, I did only drive it around the block so but yeah, this thing actually shifts and uh, I don't think it's, um, yeah, really street legal at this point. But yeah, he drives it. I mean, if not, why not? But yeah, we are going to be taking this thing back to the shop. But I just think I'm going to close up the barn over there quickly. Because we are going to put some more vehicles in the barn later on while the customers are going to come and collect it. So yeah, they don't have to be standing over in our shop. So let me get this closed up quickly and then I'll bring you guys back up to speed. Alrighty, so the barn is now locked and closed up. So we are good to continue. So we are going to jump into the Dodge Charger over here and just take it over to our shop and put on the last finishing touches, if I can call it that. So it's pretty much the, the fender markers and some pieces of trim that we had to order for this thing. And yeah, we didn't manage to find a door panel for this, unfortunately. But yeah, we will pretty much um, see if we can still find one at some point in time. And then maybe just send it over to the uh, customer or the customers. And then they can pretty much just pop this one off and pop the new one on. So... Yeah, that is something we're going to be having a lookout for. Alright, so yeah, we are just going to take this back to the shop. And we're going to finalize this. And also, I've got some news about what happened with the um, little Niva over here. The 4x4. So that has actually got a camshaft missing. Which I'm not sure if, uh, as I said, Spartan forgot it. But however, he did send it over and... Yeah, we've got a brand new engine for our Mercedes as well. So our Mercedes is going to pretty much be sorted out as well today. And hopefully this thing will also be done. So it's just the chrome trim on this one, the camshaft in that one. And then we can install our brand new engine in the Mercedes over here. And also we do have got our... Chevy Impala on the lift because I want to start working on suspension over there and there's the brand new interior bits we need for this so we need to uh, get that installed at some point in time but I think first of all we're going to start stripping uh, on the El Camino over here because obviously we need to get these body panels over to Tom's shop so that he can put them back on the car and then we can start working on suspension and engine in that car so yeah, I think what we're going to start off with is pretty much the stuff on the table over there for the charger. Um, yeah, just to mention that uh, Spartan, he felt a little bit bad. So he did 
bring over the camshaft and I sort of slapped the parts we had onto this engine block that he brought me. So this is a 454 cubic inch engine uh, V8. So he brought this over and yeah, I pretty much just put some parts onto it, but yeah, it's not nearly complete. All right, so we're going to start with pretty much all of these trims. So I'm just going to go and pop them onto the car and then I will pretty much bring you guys back up to speed once I'm done with this. So this shouldn't take too long. It's just a matter of snapping them on and then, yeah, it should be relatively straightforward. So yeah, let me go ahead and do this quickly. And then I will show you guys uh, what it looks like and give you a little bit of a walk around the car. And that should pretty much be it for this project that we have been working on. Alrighty, everybody, there we go. So before we finalize this thing, uh, there's one more thing I need to replace on this. That's the radiator hoses. So I've just gone ahead and ordered two new ones. So we are going to pretty much pop both of these on and just top up the coolant. And then I will be pretty confident, confident to say that this car is pretty much done and dusted. So I'm just going to carry those in the backpack over there. And then we will pop them down on the ground and just get the new ones installed and the old ones taken off. All right, let's uh, hunker down over here. We're going to just squeeze in here, see if we can get to this clamp over here. I don't know. I think it's probably on this side. There we go. If we do this quick enough, we shouldn't lose too much coolant. All right, let's get the upper one quickly all right there we go oh that one doesn't look too bad but yeah we might as well do both of them all right there we go and zip that down and then it's just a matter of pretty much topping up the fluids just uh put our spanner down over here on the newly painted fender but yeah, I think this car is actually coming together very nicely. I mean, it's been quite a bit of a job, but we got it sorted out. And I believe that the owners will be very happy with the outcome. All right, so we're going to just pretty much top it up with coolant now. And then I think this car is pretty much good to go. So yeah, there's that. All right, so uh, I did open it already. Let's just get this coolant topped off and then see if everything is fine and give it a little bit of a walk around and check everything and then yeah we can call it pretty much project done all right so yes we are just double checking the coolant again and also the brake fluid seems good we've got a new ish battery in here as well so that is sorted out so yeah, I think let's just quickly have a look around this car and make sure there's nothing we missed. I mean, the engine was installed, everything was tightened down, the bolts are all secure. Oil is good, fluids are good, so tires are good, tire pressure looks good. We've got all our trim installed. Uh, it's just the door panel we are pretty much still yeah, looking for, see if we can find one. All right, taillights are both installed. We've got everything pretty much put back together. They've still got all of their product in the back of the trunk. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much job done on this car. I mean, that's as good as it gets. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, pretty much focus our attention to the little NIV over here now. So Spartan did bring us the camshaft. Uh, it's over there on the table. So I'm just going to have to grab a wrench quickly from the toolbox over here. And then I think it's pretty much uh, very straightforward just popping the camshaft in and putting the valve cover back on. And then this thing should be ready to fire up and hit the road. So, all right, let's get this sorted out. So 
in the last episode, I just tightened the two bolts in the middle just to keep some of the dust out, so I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. Just set that down over there for now. And I think while we are all here, we can also check all of the fluids again. Make sure everything was still, you know, perfect and nothing leaked out. But I'm pretty confident this was the only problem with this engine. Alright, so we've got high performance camshaft installed. So, yeah, I think this thing should make plenty of power. It should be good enough for what the owner would like to do with it. So, yeah, let's just get this valve cover tightened down again. Like that. Come over here and do this side. And then you can see if this thing fires up once we check the fluids again. I'm pretty confident everything should be fine. So let's have a look quickly at the coolant. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. And the oil level. That is also pretty good. And brake fluid is very good. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, see moment of truth if this thing is going to start up now. Let's just uh, put this out of the way because I... Do you want to just maybe move it around a bit? Because we haven't driven this thing yet. Uh, we had it pushed over to Tom shop for him to paint all the panels that we had installed in the previous episode. And yeah, there she goes. I think everything is pretty much sorted out now. We've got good brakes. And yeah, this is a... She's quite nifty. Yeah, that is... Uh, that is going to be a... Little mean off-roader. Absolutely. Let's just maybe take it around the block. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure this, this little 4x4 is going to do everything it's supposed to. Especially with that raised suspension and these new off-road tires installed. They're not really fit for driving on the road, but yeah, I guess it's a... Uh, it's not really something you want to drive on the road. Alright, there we go. So, I am quite happy. This car turned out very nice. Uh, it's got a beautiful interior as well. I mean, this brown on brown, that just sort of works for it. With all the black accents. The black bull bar and the black rims and the black trims. And the roof rack as well. That is just... Uh, Pretty much in my opinion a very good balance of you know comfortable ride heights and also yeah pretty much a, a very good looking off-road machine and then we've got a dodge charger over here which is good to go so i think what i'm going to do quickly is put these two in the barn as well so yeah i think give me a couple of minutes to sort this out uh, well, for me, it's going to be a couple of minutes. For you guys, it's going to be a couple of seconds or in a matter of a second. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so yeah, all the custom vehicles are pretty much now in the garage uh, or the barn in there. And we just want to come and have a look quickly on what the progress is on this El Camino. So... Tom pretty much stripped this thing down to where he can say it's ready for the new body, if I can call it that. So we've got all the damage panels scattered all over the garage over here. So we're pretty much going to be replacing all of these panels on this car with the ones from our donor vehicle in the shop over there. And then we are pretty much going to start working on suspension and stuff after Tom has done the bodywork. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to take my walk back over to the shop and then see if we can continue work on our Mercedes because we've got a brand new diesel engine to fit and we've got to do all the fluids and everything. Uh, again, obviously, because we had to drain the coolant and we had to uh, yeah, pretty much replace the whole engine. So it's going to be new engine oil and also new coolant. And yeah, I'll just uh, double check on the brakes if that's still fine, but I'm sure everything will be fine. As for the lifter that we are still having in the shop here, I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to purchase this thing just yet, but we'll see. So if you guys don't know, this is just a rental. We are basically on a trial period with this lift to see 
how well it works for us. So we'll probably use it again today. And yeah, then we'll start working on the Al Camino after this is done. So I think let's uh, go ahead and grab our new engine over there on the crate. Uh, there's a couple of things in the way here. Um, I probably do have to get a wrench. My wrench is still outside on the corner over here. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to need this. All right, so yeah, let's also grab the coolant. Uh, bring this back here. All right, so we'll just set that on the table for now. Whoops. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have to be careful around this brand new interior bits laying on the floor here. Yeah? Not to damage anything. All right, there we go. We've got our new diesel engine. Well, this is quite a heavy little engine we've got in our hands now. All right, there we go. This thing is pretty much in place. All right, perfect. Let's just uh, be sure to tighten down all of these bolts that we can see from the top, and then we'll get it lifted up in the air and see if we can tighten the ones at the bottom again. I think it should be relatively straightforward. Ah, just got to give a little bit of a jump over here. So I remember we still had to buy a new fuel line, which is something I have not done yet. So I might have to run to the parts store next door quickly for one of those. But luckily it's not a train smash. If we were still working from home, we would have had to uh, take a drive over here. But I think let's just finalize all of these bolts first that we can reach. All right, let's get this thing lifted up and see how it goes. So yeah, I'm just going to have to see which button is the correct one again. Uh, we just want to go up slightly. Right. Yeah, we should be able to manage like this. And we can also probably get our exhaust installed, uh, installed again. Should be pretty basic and straightforward. All right, there we go. So yeah, I don't know. You guys maybe drop a comment down below. Do you guys think this lift is worth trying to buy? Or are we just going to waste money on it? Because we can pretty much do anything we want to do on the other lift we have over there. It's just if we have more than one project uh, going on at the moment than it like we do. Uh, it's uh, a little bit tricky to get, you know, the gearbox removed from the car if you are, you know, without a lift at the moment. Uh, yeah, we have to keep it down, press down. Okay, perfect. Great stuff. Now, what I want to do quickly is just uh, run next door and go and buy a fuel line. I can probably leave the wrench on the, on the hood over there. And let's just see if we can get a fuel line quickly. Alrighty, there we have it. We've got a brand new fuel line for our Mercedes. Uh, let me just uh, get my wrench again. Alright, so let's get this installed and then top up the fluids and see if this thing's going to turn over. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will. I mean, we. I think we had our fair share of bad luck with engines not, you know, firing up from the start. So I'm quite confident it'll work. So let's see. Let's get our coolant reservoir open and also our oil reservoir. Just put the caps on there. As for the brake fluid, yeah, that looks okay. We'll see if we've got a little bit left in the bottle over there. So this bottle of coolant is half. We just, just use this one on the general D charger. So we should be able to get some coolant out of this still. Let's just see how much we get out of this bottle. But luckily I did order some extras. So we should have more than enough. All right, there we have it. So the coolant is sorted out. So we are pretty much ready to start putting oil in this engine so I think three bottles of oil should do it so that is pretty much what I ordered for this so we're just gonna pretty much put all three of these in I'm thinking this 
shouldn't be too little and it shouldn't be too much but what i'll do is i'll just check it after the second bottle just to make sure we are on track there we have it our oil is sorted out as well and the brake fluid i think is still fine we could probably add a little bit but i don't think there's uh, any problem with the brakes on this car i mean it's uh it's been doing the job so yeah i'm not gonna bother with that then and then i think hopefully now this thing will fire up so this is a a little bit of a bigger engine than what we had so this is a four liter uh inline six diesel the glow plugs do work and yeah she fired right up so oh, I even had the uh, handbrake released on the lift but that is okay all right so we're just gonna pretty much pull it out and now this engine needs to be run in so we're gonna have to take it easy with this for a little bit of. so yeah Let's just uh, park it outside. We will go home with this a little bit later tonight. Once we are done with all of the work we need to do today. So, yeah, as I said, now we're going to pretty much start working on the El Camino. But, yes, our Mercedes is back in action at least. So, luckily, we don't have to be driving around with the Impala anymore. So, we should be able to start work on this in the next episode. So, yeah, that is what we are going to be doing. But I think for now we're going to start on the El Camino. I mean, that has been, uh, you know, a project hanging for quite some time. Uh, just to show you guys, our El Camino is still parked out here. So that is pretty much, yeah, where I park it these days when we are not using it during the day. All right, so yeah, we've got a lot of junk in the shop now. And I think that engine over there on the table will go back to the owners of the General Lee. So they will pretty much collect it. So the reason why I opened that door is I want to just lay all the parts down there. And then that way when we take it over to Tom shop, we can just pretty much load it on our car trailer and on the El Camino. And make sure it gets to Tom, you know, as safely as possible. Uh, we did pick up this junkyard fender as well for this. I actually forgot about this. So this was also something that I managed to find in the junkyard. Uh, upon one of my visits, visits that I was there so yeah that is something we can also pretty much you know say is ready to go so there is some rust on these bits but that is not a big problem so we've got our sand blasters and I think Tom also has one so he'll probably get that sorted out but yeah pretty much all of these panels look pretty good we need some trim on it i mean for example this one is missing the chrome trim but we'll we'll probably order new ones of those for the whole car once we get to that point and we're also going to need an interior for it so yeah we've got that uh, blue color that we are going to be painting the car in its original color so i'm not sure what kind of interior color we should be going with but yeah, we should actually wash these things off as well once we are done with everything. So, yeah, maybe give me some ideas on interior colors for the blue El Camino over in Tom Shop. Do you guys think we should go with blue interior on blue? Or should we maybe go for a black interior, a gray interior? Um, not too sure if a red interior is going to work on a blue, but yeah, we never know. Uh, there's definitely a brown color that we can go with also the tan color or the darker brown like the ones in the nerve that is a color we can go with as well so yeah you guys can let me know what do you think all right so let's see i uh, i do believe we don't have a front bumper on this car and i think the one that came off tom's car is also a little bit uh banged up so we'll 
we'll have to see if we can either get that fixed up or if we can find one at the junkyard at some point. But I think for now we're just going to keep stripping parts off this thing. So there's not really a lot to it. It's just a couple of panels we're unbolting and then we're going to be cutting it off. Uh, where did I put the... Ah, of course. It's still over here. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do now is just pretty much start cutting. So I want to cut the roof off first and get that out of the way. And it should be relatively straightforward, so just be sure to get all of these four corners. Alright, there we go. Oh, that nearly dropped. But that is fine. Everything still looks intact. Alright, so let's set this down over here. All right, there we go. That is perfect. All right, so now we can pretty much start cutting the quarter panels and then the rocker panels and such. So we also need to cut off these inner fenders or inner... I don't really know what these are called there. Well, inner panels. So we will definitely cut those off as well because I think the ones on, Tom, uh, on Cyclone's truck... Uh, is a little bit banged up as well so we'll replace those as well all right so where's the next well okay so let's let's carry on with this quarter panel i mean we are probably gonna split the two so let's just see what is coming off and what is pretty much yeah there we go all right so everything popped off when i cut that well loose all right, so there's our first quarter panel. So that is pretty much ready to be washed. Uh, I don't want to put anything on the hood, really. So that is fine. All right, now we are coming to the other side quarter panel. Right, let's just lean in here for those. And there's another one. Right, let's uh, quickly grab that out the skin as well. Ah, see the inner fender also came out. Or the inner quarter panel. Well, I think let's put this one over here for now. And then it should be good to pretty much grab this one. And then it's just the, the, the bed floor. Which actually surprisingly comes out quite easily if you get all of the welds cut loose properly. Alright, so we'll put that down there. So where did I put the other side one? Oh, it's still laying over here. Okay, alright. We, we nearly missed this one. Okay, so let's put this one down outside as well. I'll probably fit in this little gap we have here. Yeah, we should still be able to get our El Camino out from there. All right, no problem. All right, I think we're going to need our screwdriver quickly for a second because I want to take off this whole front end trim piece here. So it's just luckily these two screws and then that is coming off. All right, so there we've got that ready to rock and roll as well. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I need to take off now. Uh, maybe this headlight can come off. I mean, this is the only headlight that is intact, so... We'll just uh, remove that for now. I think, yeah, we can probably just leave it on the shelf over there. Because we do need to cut off that panel as well. Because that one needs to go to our, um, to our vehicle that we are working on. I nearly said donor vehicle. This is our donor vehicle. All right, let's get all of these cuts loosened up. And let's grab it. We've got it. Oh, that is looking pretty decent. Don't know if there's any hidden rust or anything on that, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, as far as the inner fender goes, we're not going to bother with those. The ones on the car is still pretty much intact. Alrighty, let's grab this little panel again. 
So this one we can probably put with the other one if I can remember where I put it. Oh, there it is over there. Let's just lean over here, get it over there. All right, that is perfect. All right, next up we're going to cut off our bed floor and our pretty much this uh, cab wall. I think that should actually come out after those cuts. Uh, or are there some more? Oh, there's, there's another one, of course. Okay, perfect. So that is also sorted out. Let's just get this turned around so that we don't unnecessarily damage the face of it. All right, let's put that over there. And then that is pretty much the truck bed that come, come off or the trunk floor or the truck floor. Whatever you would like to call it. But I think it's a little bit low under that car. So we need to grab our jack maybe for this. Just so that we can see what we are doing a little bit better. All right, I think that's... Um, Jack it up over here. Alright, I think that's as high as it's going to go. Alright, so, yeah, these frame rails are shut as well on this one, so we won't be using that. But we do need this uh, rear frame brace for the bumper to mount on. And then I think, yeah, we've got a couple of welds over there. Uh, I believe this spot on our car. Oh, of course, we need to cut it on the other side as well. So yeah, this part on our car is also a bit damaged. So we'll see if this one is good enough. It it looks quite fine. I mean, it's not brand new, but it's it should be better than the one we have on the car. And then, obviously, we got to just make sure we get each and every one of these welds. Uh, there's another one over here. Uh, there we go. All right. Is that the last one? No, there should be some more. They're probably just hiding from me. All right. We should find it. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. And that is the one. So that has still got a very rusty fuel tank attached to it. Let me not knock myself over the head with this thing. All right, let's uh, grab our wrench quickly and get this taken off. Yeah, this thing is junk. I'm going to pretty much just throw this away. There is no use in trying to salvage this. I don't think there's any gas in here. If there's gas in there, it's probably going to be old anyway, so... That can be pretty much disposed of. All right, let's get this thing. Whoops. Yeah, let's get it turned around again. All right, there we have it. All right, perfect. This uh, is probably going to block our way out. So let's just put it down over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, now I think it's just uh, two rocket panels then. This thing should be pretty much taken apart. I mean, there's, uh, there's not a lot to it uh, at this point. And we can comfortably just uh, make sure all the welds are taken off. There we go. So let's go and put this one down outside as well. Right, that is one rocker panel. And then it's pretty much just the last one on this side. Then I think this car is pretty much stripped uh, as far as we need it to be. Let me just uh, get up over here. All right. Yeah, this is a better angle. All right. So let's cut that one. Let's cut that off. And let's cut that off. Uh, there's another one over here. And another one at the back. Over there, okay. Well, we'll cut that anyway. As those frame rails do need to come off uh, from the other car if they are also rusty. But I didn't check those. I think they might actually be fine. 
But yeah, there we have it. I think that is pretty much all of the Alcamino parts we are going to need. So what I'm going to do pretty much off camera is give all of this a wash. And see if I can start with some of the rust removal for Tom. And then we'll pretty much send it over to his shop and he will put it back together. And that will be pretty much the wrap for this episode. I mean, uh, we've done quite a bit today and we have completed some projects. Which is always good. And as I, I am pretty much done with this job, I think, yeah, it's time to end the episode. So I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view, every like. And also I wanted to ask if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will appreciate it very much. But until the next time, cheerio.